roaming the countryside with my laser sheep and maybe the rest of my team too but mostly just the laser sheep oh you don't go that far all right fair enough I'm gonna need to start putting some thought into my team's move pool I think stuff is not developing as it naturally should wait so you do sing This is the most atonal nonsense I've ever heard. This sounds like a Japanese folk song, and it probably is. Like, I'm, I'm not picking out a single English phenome here. I'm betting this just, there was no translation put in. Maybe the voice sample should just stay out of Pokemon. Maybe that's for the best. Oh, hey, girl. What? Is there a love story developing around me? What? But are you trying to become a singer, too? And if so, why the hell are you practicing under a bridge? Okay, this is going to keep happening, isn't it? Is there going to be some fetch questy thing I need to do where I reunite you with your true lover? Whatever. I'm not invested in your nonsense. Your nonsense is uninvesting. Oh, disgusting. Quite the beautiful picture to think of May as uh, riding around on a swan as back as it swims in the water. That's a very beautiful, beautiful image in my head. Oh, look, if if the technology was premature for allowing graceful integration of voice samples, you just shouldn't do it. This doesn't sound very good. Don't do it just because you can. Yeah, see, for the most part, this doesn't sound like words. I mean, I, I know Japanese phenomes, at least to some extent, and I'm, I'm hearing only a very few rare in-between uh, consonants. J and s. It, it sounds mostly like just mushed-up vowel soup. It's like alphabet cereal where people only left in the vowels. It's gross-sounding. Absolutely. Crunches hardcore on the floor. It's also physical, which is important because that's where Flambe's strength lies. This is not a Vulpix. I, given the prevalence of special fire moves, I kind of wish I had a Vulpix, but I, I don't think I like looked it up on Bulbapedia, and I don't think you can actually get one in this game without also knowing uh, Waterfall. You know what? I know for a half-baked fact that if I set foot inside the gym at Oplicid, I'm going to get my trash handed to me because my team is just organically developed bullcrap. And it's not very strong, and I don't have moves that match my stats, so maybe now it's time to do some overhauling. I guess now is as good a time as any for an overhaul montage. Hell yeah! This is for evolving my Mancino. As soon as it hits level 43 and learns a certain move, which I would like it to have, and I'll probably give it Giga Impact too. As soon as, uh, that time, yeah. Completing sentences, it's what rad people do. Did you look at that? Anubis actually has higher special attack than physical. I would not have expected that, but they're both pretty high, so I could probably use either one interchangeably. Man, 
Lucario's own natural learn set starts to get some really awesome crap starting at level 51, but that's a long ways away. There's got to be something else I can give Anubis in the meantime to make it make him a little bit more effective. Man, there's not a whole lot in the way of TMs that are available right now either that gives uh, Lucario mu much better than what I have already. I'd hate to have to wait until level 51, but I might not have a choice. I'm not using Faint all that frequently, really. Quick Attack is good just for increased priority occasionally. And the Stab, making this an effective 90, makes it kind of hard to uh, replace, at least for the moment. So, yeah, I'll just get rid of this. Furrow's moves, I'm pretty happy with, honestly. For somebody who's m meant to be my dealer of water and flying damage, and uh, somebody who I'm meant to swim and fly on, this moveset could honestly not be much better, so I'm alright with this. Oh, Superior just learns Giga Drain at level 44, and in the meantime, Leaf Blade is really hard to beat, because Superior's stats are more focused towards the physical. And look at that. 90 plus stab plus physical, that's... Mega Drain would really be all but useless until I get Giga Drain, really. I'll be damned. Hmm. Special attack is definitely better, but... Physical's not that low. And Thunder Punch is just so good! However, if I, if I can replace Thunder, Thunder Punch with something, honestly, should... Ampharos does learn Discharge at level 40, Thunder at level 62. Dang, there's not much improvement I can do here. Other than just leveling. The Thunder Punch will easily carry me until then. Now Flambe the Fire Puppy is the one I really worry about. Because this guy is more... Wow, the natures. Look at these, the natures. They just do weird crap to me, and probably the IVs as well. Because, yeah, Growlithe is supposed to be more physically geared, but look! Better special attack, so I'm actually not an idiot for having Flamethrower and Flame Wheel. Because I believe both of these are special, right? Yeah, well, no, that one's physical. Okay, so I have some variety. But that means Flamethrower is actually really smart to have, having better special attack. The real limiting factor here is that Growlithe is just not very strong. <laughs> I need to evolve this guy into an Arcanine. So, if this is a rare Growlithe wherein the special is as good or even slightly better than the physical, I'd want to keep... not evolve it until level 41, at which point Heat Wave happens, but then I, I really don't have to wait for Flare Blitz, do I? It wouldn't be necessary. Then I could evolve it to a Arcanine. May as well go and secure the stone, just like I did for my Mancino. Nice. So my team's pool of moves was really not anywhere near as bad as I thought it was. It's just my Mancino and my Growlithe need... It's time for them to grow up. So I'll just level them a little bit more so they get the moves I want and then we can proceed. Unavoidable butt-kicking is going to happen to me when I set foot inside the gym, but... Beyond going outside of the town uh, further west, I don't, I don't see an option for leveling more at the moment, so... I guess I'll just poke my nose in and see how the gym has changed in the last two years, if nothing else. Oh my. Oh yeah, go ahead and throw a bottle of water at my head. <laughs> I said that as a joke once, you know. Stay hydrated! Yeah. They're extremely big, Jesus. Yeah? Does this have anywhere near the dozens upon dozens of trainers that the earlier version did? Doesn't look like it. I don't have any ice or any dragon, so I'm, I'm like woefully underprepared for this, and no doubt I'll be able to get through only through brute strength and being a strong brute. How does this work? Can I just talk to you? Oh. Maybe I have to fight you and then I can activate the dragon cannon? 
Hey, you. Had some trouble with you before. Ah, yes. One of those Pokemon that just loves to buff itself into the... Not even the stratosphere. Not even to the moon. Like, whatever part of the galactic disk might exist above us, that's where you like to buff yourself into. But you're paralyzed now, so hopefully I can whittle you down before I actually get a shot off. Yeah. You're almost certainly in one-hit kill territory already. My, how frequently this happens. This game is loving its use of trainers who just have one very high-level Pokémon. It's been happening quite a bit. <laughs> Fierce Energy. The master tactician, the way that you use the same move over and over again. I see. So we have a little bit of a gimmick other than just, uh... Ah! Badoosh. <laughs> this is weird. Okay, so Furrow's people cannons are nothing compared to this noise. Oh, God! Ah! <laughs> okay, oh, you're not... Okay, you're not actually projecting the person. You're just... You're just... Really may should have gone flying from that, though. The change in momentum was quite a bit. A substitute? I haven't seen one of those guys in, like, a game and a half. But that'll give me a chance to trade out anyway. I don't want to keep doing this. Hmm. Who would be wise? want to do, I should almost certainly just battle all of the trainers because, boy, no way to anticipate, right? Out of level, like five or six levels behind, and fighting whoever that guy is, Iris's pervert uncle, I don't know. Fighting him is not going to be easy if I don't get every single droplet of experience I can muster. Zelda is bad. I mean, what game am I playing again? My negative predisposition for that series aside, I've seen what little Nintendo has ah, shown of Breath of the Wild, and it looks breathtakingly wild. That game is part of the reason I'm so enthusiastic about getting a Switch. Nintendo Switch. Absolutely gonna get one of those. Oh boy. All right, let's do the Battle of Buff Attrition once again. Man, it's not working. My team needs to be stronger. A lot of my fighters are just getting one shot. Bug move, damn it. Yeah. I'm probably not going to be able to get the experience that I want in this gym. Wow. Not even super effective, and you still one shot me. And you're really fast now, too, so you're going to probably. You could just fell my whole team right now. That is absolutely plausible. Boy. Pretty sure my one little fire puppy that you could just stomp mercilessly is not gonna make this happen. Yeah. I'm un under-equipped, and it's not because of move pool. It's 
just because this game's gyms are dumb. I mean, they're, they're certainly stylish, but they're not gameplay interesting. That was fantastic. Yeah, I accomplished what I wanted. I stuck my nose out into the gym and got it cut off. So now I'll come back here. Route 9, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's the shop. That's probably where I can get Giga Impact, too. If I have the money, I may just pick that up while I'm here. Yes, yeah, so this was the place. Asset reuse. It's what the cool kids do, so they don't have to work very hard. Ah, uh, here we are. So let's see, 90k, and I have 100k. Convenient. And there goes all the money I've ever had. I, like, actually depleted my real-life checking account. I can't pay rent this month. I'm, I'm gonna be sleeping under under a box under a bridge. Not in a box, under a box. It'll be a box that some other hobo put there. Yeah. A Minchino can't learn it, but a Chinchino can. So I've got to evolve you. But I have the machine ready in any case. And I think, I think that... Foka is the only person that I will teach Giga Impact to, because the only, I mean, very high damage, yes, but the only way I can make the recharge turn seem worth it is, is, is if I also get Stab. What did you just say? Undergoing a test to see how many people can... <laughs> what? That's not that's not a thing that people do. <laughs> so are you are you literally just having like a a thousand, two thousand people just stand out on the bridge to see if it can handle the weight? <laughs> so okay, so what if the test fails and it can't hold them? They all plummet to the water and die. <laughs> you know, engineers would have that shit figured out before the bridge was built. What the fuck game? Two dueling dragons. Light dragon and dark dragon. You just got kicked in the nose, man. Whatever your offensive strategy was, it's obviously not the best. Steel's resiliency going to be the only thing that allows me to even take one or two punches in this gym. very fast, so act like it. Oh, no, you're not fast, because that thing buffed itself into other worlds. Maybe I shouldn't be taking on this half of the dragon. Might not be as good of an idea as I thought. Yeah, if you're faster than my team, and if you can one-shot my team every time I come to face you, then... Yeah. I should do the other half of the dragon, because this is nonsense. I don't have the offensive ability to put you down before you before you buff yourself into other dimensions. This is dumb. So this is just not a gym where I can go through the standard motions of clearing out every gym leader for the experience, apparently. At least not when I'm five levels behind everybody once again. So I'm going to take on the left side. If it gives me the option of not going through those frickin' cannons on the left, or excuse me, on the right, then such the better. Is this not how this works? Can I go up again? Yes. I'm gonna have the crowning accomplishment of now having my white dragon get punched in the nose, as opposed to kicked in the nose. It's a big improvement. Ah, oh, yeah. Rotation battle. I can do this. A very elegant lady, Danae. Or however your name is. Oh, God. That's a lot of dragonish. Alright, so seeding will be crucial. It's not going to happen, though.
Hmm, how does this work if you're seated and then you're pulled out from the front? Hmm. So now we play the mind game. I don't know if the enemy AI is going to swap again, and if they do, it would be good for me to use Leech Seed again, because then I can seed another enemy. But if he just keeps the Axu out, or she just keeps the Axu out, I'll take a risk. Yes. Now two out of your three fighters are seated. Now, please don't kill my snake. I actually need my snake to stay alive if I'm going to have any chance of this at all. Which means, let's actually rotate around a bit. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell. Welp! Are things and stuff gonna happen? Likely not, but possibly ought. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You're not gonna get a chance to use another one, so... Let's once again take the risk. I mean, my snake could just get fainted, but... Oh, God! Okay, this could actually go really well now. Just as long as this doesn't faint Malcolm. Please? Yes. Now I should just trade the snake out. Alright, the whole enemy team is seated. So let us exchange Malcolm for a punching lightning sheep. Not so fast. Well, yes, so fast. Yes. Fari being super fast, as lightning types, electric types usually are. Oh, but it doesn't matter. Ow, ow. I'm sorry, Fari. Can you just do a little bit of damage? Can you do a lot of damage? slam this guy's head into the pavement over and over again until his sharp teeth fall out. Gotta remember, normals get normal with stab. So Swift just does a little bit more damage than the paper cuts it usually does. Ow. Ow. One shot. One kill. Okay, who have I got left? Flambe is not already out. Good. Now maybe it'll take out only like 1.8 health bars per hit. Yeah. God damn it. Nothing ever goes your way. Now that all enemies are seated, maybe my defense against steel alone will actually do s something of moral value. You're probably too fast. You're certainly too fast. attack won't be enough, will it? Phew! I may have actually just won this harrowing battle. Good for you, bird. Half my team died, but I'm glad you leveled at least. Tailwind. I'm sh I think I've seen this, but I forget what it does. Huh. Well, if I thought that there was going to be a 
bunch more rotation battles. That might make sense, but really, I like Fro's existing moveset too much. Okay. Um, Shizbiz. There's, this is the only damage I can do to you. It has to be increased priority, or I'm just not going to land any damage at all. Oh, Anubis. You've saved the day. Thank you so much. But now this is all I got. Can I rotate when I've only got one other fighter? Yes, I can. Except you're still too fast. You're going to one-shot my guys no matter what. Man, I wish I had, like, Sturdy or some other some other move that prevents fainting. Yeah, it, it doesn't matter. You're too fast. You've just killed my team. Ah, fuck this. You can't use strategy here. Or at least you gotta do it way better than I do. Ah, uh, yes, it's time. So these act attributes... 90 special. That is just about what I want. Just about, it's what I want. Sorry, I had to learn that while badly poisoned. That means it's time for this. Where do you keep a clear stone when you get one? Or no, it was a shiny stone? I don't know where stuff is in my pack here. There we go. Shiny stone and firestone. Yes, it is time. It is time to time time while timing time timefully. And well, I am so glad that I finally get to evolve my rodent into a soft, fluffy scarf Pokemon. I'm still worried. I don't. It's just the same as last time when I came to the opposite gym. I don't have any weapons against dragon. I would need either, you know, ice or a dragon. I just got so many disadvantages I'm working with, and grinding sucks. Grinding just flippin' sucks. Oh yeah, now that I got you evolved, I need to teach you your flagship move. This nonsense. And you're very fast, which means that you'll probably be able to get off ahead of this before most people can slam you in the nuts. Um, ovaries, because you're a female Pokemon. Heat wave, huh? And it was this early? Oh, I guess it was. Okay. Well, special is special. Physical is for your friend. Screw it. I'm not, I'm not getting anywhere with... I already have a physical move in Crunch. Uh, but then that kind of makes Shizbiz redundant, doesn't it? Hmm. What should I forget? Let's forget this. Who gives a crap about this thing? I guess that means I can evolve my Growl life now. I checked, and it's... It, Flambe special is still better than physical attack. So I guess it's time to do that. Alright, here we go. I believe this will be the final evolution of my team. Girl lives are adorable. And I'll miss this adorable puppy. But I need a stronger fighter. Just like Ducklet before, evolving into the strong and graceful Swana. I wonder if its title as a Pokemon is still a misno uh, misnomer. Arcanine. You're still quite fluffy. Just really big and fluffy now. You keep me warm on those winter nights. But, let us see. Uh, where's the title? Oh, it's probably in the Pokedex, isn't it? Bah. Yeah, the misnomer is still there. Every Pokemon has a title. And this one's is the legendary Pokemon, despite the fact that Arcanine is not a legendary Pokemon. 
what what other n word could you have used to give the same meaning without like trying to encroach on the territory of the likes of Latios and Mewtwo? I don't know. So far, so good. So far, so better. shot Fuka no matter what I did. So the recharge turn doesn't matter. Finally got this guy on the ropes. God damn. This gym is tough as balls, man. I'm like straight up afraid of the gym leader. I do not know how strong this guy's gonna be. Mayor. Oh, once again, a gym leader having multiple jobs. I'm a gym leader and a mayor. I can't strategize around what I don't know. So I might just be forced to take an intentional failed attempt against this boss. Against this gym leader. Do Pokemon games even have bosses? Of a sort? Kind of. Something that looks interesting in Sun and Moon, of the materials that have been released for it so far, is the concept of Ultra Beasts. Which are... The Pokemon website seems to go out of its way to mention this is... Ah! Clunk! And they made out, and the two dragons loved each other eternally. The Pokemon website has taken pains to point out that uh, the Ultra Beasts are not Pokemon, which makes me think that you'd fight them the same way as Pokemon, but you just can't catch them. So maybe they're just like intended to be bosses and nothing else. Draven.
ka thunk. Wow. That beard, man, how do you eat? Must make a mess of your facial hair every time you try to have lunch. I've dealt with your ilk before. Drugged. Dread. Egan? Dread again? that doesn't work against anything, really. Unless you're fighting a ghost. I have one-shot ghosts with that crunch move. Hmm. Which one of these has higher base attack? There was a way to, like, view this information real-time. I forgot what it was. Oh, well. Hopefully I can paralyze you. Ow. Not complete death. Just very close. You're still stronger, or you're faster, Anubis, so try to get this shot off if you can. Badoosh? Oh yeah, hardcore Badoosh. Flygon. Uh huh. So I think I encountered before was a dragon. This is the evolved version of it, no doubt. Hmm. But is it also part bug? It's almost certainly part flying. So I don't know how safe any endeavor is. I might need Malcolm for the flagship, but whatever. This is not intended to be a successful attempt, so I'll do what I can. Oh, good. It was actually correct that I brought Anubis back. That would have destroyed him. I guess if you have only like 3 HP left, that's going to happen no matter what. Uh, you gonna kill Malcolm? No, not quite. So you have a ground-type move. I most certainly can't use a steel guy against you. Oh, but I have a flyer. Ow. Oh, oh, cheap. That's one of those four switch-out moves. God damn, said Uncle Sam. Well, I don't know what kind of damage I can get off, so let's just try for something. It is really cool how that move uses the Pokemon's cry. I guess that's just like a uh, roar or the other thing that... What was it that that dog used that one time that just threw my, threw my growl life off the playing field? I'm misremembering. It was weeks ago. Don't talk to me. Oh, no! Bad luck! That was shitty luck on a taco truck. Oh, but it didn't quite kill me. So, because Giga Impact didn't connect, I don't have the recharge turn. Okay. I just... I gotta not get spoiled, because I've been spoiled many times. Okay, well, so much for Fuka. Just get off the sh shot that you can. Kathunk. Oh, it worked! Hot damn. Fuka's still gonna have the recharge turn, though, right? So the flagship's gonna put her put her down. Haxorus. Does this Pokemon know Fissure? I feel like this is one of the Pokemon that has, like, a one-hit kill move. <sighs> Malcolm's not gonna be able to stay alive. If I try to get him seated. What the hell? What do I have to lose at this point, right? Whatever. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now a long steady pro progression to my team getting one shot over and over again. I hope you don't know Dragon Dance. That move has wrecked my crap more time. <laughs> it's, 
if you say it, it shall be. I don't have any weapon against you, really. My only hope is I might be able to whittle you down a little bit while you're buffing yourself into the... Let's see, I've already used other galaxies, other dimensions. What's the next most ridiculous thing I can say? Into the multiverse. Buffing yourself into the multiverse. How about that? Badoosh! Mm, crunch does more damage despite not having stab. Just because of the type defenses. Yeah, just don't use Dragon Tail again and we're all good. I'm most certainly faster than anybody in my team now. What? Oh, you used the uh, decreased priority move there. Ow! Down my team, yes, down my team, we'll go. Hmm. Yeah, I, I got nothing that's going to be able to survive this onslaught, so... I do have Anubis that knows an increased priority move. So maybe that'll be my only chance. In fact, I think that is my only chance right now. All right, Anubis. You have quick attack. That's probably all you need. Save the day, God of Death. Do it! <laughs> oh my god, I just first attempted this guy. <laughs> oh, well done, God of Death. Good for you, Anubis. Heal Pulse. Uh, I don't actually know what it does. Oh. That would only make sense if you're, like, team battling, which I'm probably not going to do. I mean, I know there'll be some stuff in the main game, but I'm just... Uh, I'll deal with that other ways. I don't care. Oh, God. I'm done with my most type disadvantageous gym, probably. I can't imagine what would be harder than Dragon. Yeah. You can say just any random garbledygook about Pokemon. It doesn't matter at this point. Remember, Pokemon for, are for eating, and then you wear their hollowed-out skins as shoes in the wintertime. Oh, boy. I'm probably not going to fight dragons, except... Iris. I wonder if she still uses dragons as the champion. I wouldn't be surprised if she had Hydra Gun now. Whatever, old man. Go shave your beard, okay? Having a beard that looks like Optimus Prime's mask is not great. Oh, you're following me. No, oh, yeah. I gotta admit, I didn't wholly pay attention to what you said, but... Let me go hit the Pokemon Center first, man. You, like, completely handed my trash to me, almost, and I want to go deal with it. So... There's one gym I haven't done yet, and it looks like a teardrop. So is there going to be a water-type gym in this game? But, I, I mean, I, I can't... I don't know. I can't judge. It could... For all I know, it could be actually a flame, like a candle flame instead of a teardrop. I don't know what that badge is. <sighs> Alright, I guess we'll talk to oldie McWeirdPants here, but I need my team situated first. Okay, dude, bro, what do you got? I guess May doesn't know where Iris' house is. I mean, I, the player, was here two years ago in game time, but that doesn't mean anything to this dude. Oh boy, okay, are we gonna have another text crawl just like we did the first time we were here? Where you tell me, oh, here's about Reshiram and Zekrom. I could sh be showing you some pretty fancy visuals with my with my dialogue annotated under it. But no, I'm just gonna sit here and... Yeah, here we go, yep. Sorry, Mommy. Uh. We're talking about genetics now. DNA splicers? Yeah, QRIM. The combination between the two, yeah? But 
Dish! Oh, what was that? A team plasma throw off, like, light a bomb up and underneath the federal building? We want change! Holy fuck shit, what's that thing? Did Team Plasma go from being, like, really lame to being impressive all of a sudden? How in God's name does anybody think that's appropriate? Attention, people of Earth, you will be finally probed. Don't worry, it will feel really, really good. Oh, some shit got wrecked. I have no idea what's going on. I'm very confused. This is all making zero sense to me. Is, is everything frozen? Or is that like a mineral crystal? What? Oh, wow. <laughs> You'll break your tail. Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, yes. Yeah, I knew. <laughs> you know, it, it was enough of philosophy like 10 games ago, but... That, that hasn't stopped Pokemon games from being like, There, yes, we're going to provide some methodology of living your life properly that has actually no real applicability in the real world. What? So you want to reform Kyurem. <laughs> Nobody in the Pokemon world has like a fucking gun. <laughs> Just put like a forty-five to his head and be like, "Give me the DNA splicers." But I will go two years ago. Okay, now we're just gonna sack your house. What the f, guys? You're just making a big fuck damn mess out of everything. You know that? Okay. Well, I, I do like beating up Team Plasma, so here we go. Wait, what? I'm supposed to fight you. All right, how about you then? I'm, I'm not thinking about it too much. I see face, I want to beat face. This is throwing my head for a loop right here. It, it's like you're you're speaking something that is trying to give credibility to the opposition of your cause. That'd be like a Republican who sees the genuine benefits of healthcare reform and being like, "What is this? The benefit of of is this how people act when not treating each other like heartless monsters?" Or like. If a uh, liberal is trying to say something like, What? This is the value of fiscal responsibility? Are there any more, are there any more faces for me to smash? Because I love smashing Team Plasma face. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, here you are. Will you smash faces with me? Smash my face, smash my face, smash my face into your face in this place. Man, a wheezing. Lots of Gen 1s showing their face here. Pokemon Company really does try to pander to nostalgia a little bit more than it should. TBHIMO BBQ. That's, that's hardly a new sentiment, though. A lot of people think that. Other people think that Gen 1 was the best, and nothing new or good has reasonably come out of any of the intervening 20 years. Those people are idiots, and do not deserve your attention.
DNA splicers. Why should that be necessary for QRM to come together? It's probably my fault. I'm not paying attention at all to this game's silly, irrelevant story, so whatever. Bother, bother, bother! I'm Winnie the Pooh, a 17-year-old girl working for a criminal organization. Actually, I have no idea how old you are. Oh, yes. You have a flying type, but you neglected to notice that I have a laser sheep. She'd love to have an Arcanine. Like a big, fluffy, cuddly buddy to keep you warm on really cold days. That'd be really good by my mind. Having an Arcanine in the winter, like say if you were lost in the mountains after an avalanche, a freak skiing accident, could literally save your life. And because it's based on wolves and dogs, I guess. It'd be probably a very loyal Pokemon. It would stick with you to the end. Now, hopefully there just wouldn't be an end and you'd get out safely and you'd both go home and be able to have a nice comfortable weekend before going back to work on Monday. And then you'd have a story to tell. Stupid fool, Plasma! Are you the one who had the breakdown? No, no, you're, you're still up in arms with your arms up. Your convictions are strong and your diction is long. I guess I got all of you? I don't know. <laughs> the Pokemon Center is completely undisturbed by what's going on outside. <laughs> sure, we're gonna fuck up the whole world in an attempt to resurrect an apocalyptic gray matter dragon, but, but the Pokemon Center, that's like a church to these people. That's sacred. That's hallowed ground. You don't mess with that shit. Alright, did we get all of them? Oh, okay. Then I'll go find the sage then and hope to dicks that it's he's less hard to kill than Getsis was. Hello. How do I pronounce your name? Zinzolin. Yeah, I think I've tried that before. As long as you don't have a, a hydro... I know how to pronounce it now, and it's still hard to pronounce. A high dry gun. Hi, dry gun. Hi, dry gun. Oh. I think Rock is strong against ice. Hey, I know that move. Don't go petard hoisting like some kind of a jerk. Womp. Oh, Fari, you know better than that. Uh, you don't know better than that, though. Okay, this is a failure. Let's bring out a Pokemon that can actually deal with a crystalline, diagonal, diagonal, polygonal ice thing. Floating ice face. Badoosh. What the f- what?! Not very effective, and it more than halves my health? What is wrong with you? Oh god, you're gonna fail my team, aren't you? I didn't even get off a shot. Oh, nothing is ever fair. Fighting is strong against ice, I think. Blunk. 
Gotta power through it, man. I don't want to win to the gym leader just to lose to this asshole. There we go. That was the best thing to happen this minute. Why? What? Okay, do you have three of these goddamn things? That's fine. I'm not going to evoke your special defense. I'm just going to slap your face, silly, with my god of death jackal anthropomorphic Pokemon who I can't hug because his chest spike would stab me. That hurts my soul. Like, in multiple ways. And I think it's just straight up dark, I believe. Which fighting is strong against. Do you not know anything? Yes. It's actually fairly fitting that fighting would be strong against dark. I don't know if this was their intention, but like the idea of the warrior going to battle darkness. That makes it makes a little bit of sense in my mind. <laughs> Man, this cold that I put this city under, it's really uncomfortable, isn't it? I shouldn't have done this. Wait, what? You just said that you didn't like it, and then you're like, well, I'm, I, it sucks, but I'm going to do it to the whole country, because that sounds great. Whatever, man. Team Plasma never made any sense. Badoosh. You got something for me? Oh, my. A spike. Oh no! It's the plot armor ninjas. Yeah, the plot armor armor ninjas who just do whatever the f they want and. Okay, well you go that way. I'll go this way because I saw one of the ninjas. Like we can't catch the ninjas though. Just story logic allows them to disappear and appear wherever they want. You can't do jack about it. See? Can't find them. So they're around town somewhere. I just have to look closely. They're like little shadows hiding somewhere. Hiding in a garbage can? Aw. That would have been really clever if I'd found it, but... Well, you're just standing out in plain view. What's wrong with you? Oh, finally. I can actually straight up fight the plot armor ninjas. Your name is actually Shadow. Okay. I bet you play Reaper in Overwatch. You're probably born in 2003 and you think Liloch is so cool. I don't know what this does against Dark Steel. Not much. Okay. I kind of missed the punch of. of lightning punch, but, uh... Yeah, Discharge is just straight up stronger. Oh, an Absol. Haven't seen one of you guys for a while. Not since X and Y, actually. It goes to show what I know. I thought this guy was a 6th gen. Try to buff yourself just one more time, please. Ow! Okay, bye, Fari. Hmm... I don't want to level Anubis again if I can help it. Can you actually do something useful now, Flambe? I know you're enormous, but please, kill something. There you go. See? You're a big puffy doggy, and everybody loves you. Oh, perfect. Now I can really show your stuff. <laughs> Bullshit. Dodge Heat Wave. Yeah, I just filled the whole area with fire. Evaded attack. It matters not. 
Steel melts at a temperature of 90 million failures per second. Damn straight, I'm a good trainer. Compared to you, not compared to, like, other people in the real world. A anybody would absolutely rape my guts in PvP. And that actually has happened, so yeah. So they got away with the DNA splicer, right? What's up? Oh, oh God, his face. I'm, I'm holding my hand over my eyes so I can't see his fuck damn face. Strange ship was flying towards Oplicid. I'm happy for you. Hi, Sharon. You didn't bring anybody else annoying with you, did you? Y yeah, we know. Hmm. That, that's your definition of useful? You can fight off terrorists. That's your def that's the definition of useful. Oh, that's true. You don't get to decide how I treat my creatures. And I treat them ethically. Well, I want to. Game mechanics don't really let me do it. I forget if I've said this before. But I've, I've conceptualized a game that would essentially be like a cross between um, Animal Crossing and Pokemon, where you might like run a daycare full of Pokemon, and the whole game would be like an expanded and deepened version of the Pokemon and Me activity that was introduced in Gen 6. I mean, just think about it. Like, getting to play with and raise Pokemon and teach them how to socialize and do fun things with them. No fighting, though with no actual conflicts. Just trying to help Pokemon learn and grow in completely p fun and peaceful ways. I would never play any game ever again other than that. That would just, that would be the har most hardcore thing to ever enter my soul. Never again would I even have the need to speak. I'd just be playing the video game all day long, so I'd never even want to like socialize. I already don't want to socialize now, so this would just make it worse. Hmm. This is another one of those ice sliding puzzles. I know not what I aunt want to. Blah, blah, blah. Rhym rhyming words. I don't know how to do that. I wonder if this is a one way, like, exit pipe, maybe. Oh, ah, there we go. Ranger, what do you got? What? No, the world is freezing to death. And I see now, we have the con continuation of the plot line of Sharon saying the world is getting slightly colder. Climate change is strange and deranged. I'm just, I just came over here through, like, momentum. I don't know if this is actually where I should be going. Uh, yeah, let's look, look at the map. See if I can find this region that Sharon was talking about. Oh, yeah. Humilao. Humilao. And then the giant chasm. Alright, off we go. I must be going the right way. Oh, well, here we go again. By the way, I know we're trying to go save the world, but how about we have a fight? And then you can teach me proper hairstyling tips, because you have this super cute dual bun style thing going on, and... I don't even know how hair works. Like, I haven't washed this thing since I was born. Oh, maybe some rocks are opened up and I can swim there. Wait, this cave, is this not post-game? Maybe this isn't post-game and this is essentially a dungeon that I just need to get through in order to get to Humilau. Sail with me forever, my beloved bird. Get out of my way now. Sh sure. Is your whole team just gonna be four rug and rollers? Because that'll be the lamest thing I've ever heard. Although, not hypothetically the lamest thing that I could hear. I, I could think of lamer things to hear. 
like, you know, Mexico detached and just sank off into the ocean of the Southern Hemisphere. That'd be pretty sad. Oh, please. You really did just have nothing but four rock and rollers. And they were high level too. They could have evolved by now. That's right, be gone with you. We care not what you think. My goal for the goal for the moment is just gonna be getting to this Himilao town. I'm not gonna have the time to push on to Team Plasma's presence beyond there, so. I'll just get there. And then things that are done will be done. Hmm. Bits of the architecture of this cave remind me of, uh... What was the name of that cave in in first gen? The one that Articuno lived in. See, I, I would have to go look it up. The one where you spend a hundred million years in there trying to find Articuno and then you can't actually catch it. Because that's how life is. Life isn't just indifferent to your wants and pains, it actively seeks to hurt you! Hmm. Route 20. So the cave is a hell of a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm on my way. You could have taken a water route, too? Oh, marine. Okay, that's almost certainly something I, I wouldn't have access to until I get to the town the hard way. Sup, bro? Let me beat up your crap, crappy, crappy Pokemon, and then you can reward me by healing mine. That thing again. Alomomola. Looks like it belongs in the Alola region. Did you just call me fat? So at first you said the ocean was a big puddle, and then you said, whoa, you're enormous too. May is like a skinny beanpole of a kid, dude. You not you don't need to be saying things like that. It's just not nice. Or smart. Or accurate. It's really rude, crude, misconstrued, and you're not a you're not a good dude. So because you walked over to fight me, now I can't get through. That is really bad level design right there. I'm sure you could design it such that. I couldn't get through without being seen, but then you shouldn't block me such that I have to reset you. Yeah, that's a good attitude to have. Keep practicing, not despite losing, but because you lost. It proves that you need the practice. Also, um, Furrow's fainted right now. So I'm, like, riding on the back of an un unconscious Pokemon, probably trying to just, like, pedal with my feet. So this bit... Ah, oh, the swimmer's still blocking me. I probably have to leave the map and then come back. But I guess I can go down here the long way. So maybe that was entirely intentional, that he was supposed to block you. Oh, I react to things and then turn out to be wrong. How many times has that happened? Probably a theoretically infinite number of times. Ah, oh, you did it again! You notice me and then you block me. You're forcing me through this rocky maze of nonsense. Oh, have I made it? Humilao. With really happy goddamn music. You know, dude, I know that there's this anime craze people have had for a while called Sundari, but... Just a lot of the time, if a girl acts like she doesn't like you, it's because she doesn't like you! So stop chasing her! But... Oh, I see, you're just playing, okay. Well, I shouldn't judge prematurely. Or indeed at all. I'll just look around a little bit. I don't want to get too deeply involved in what's going on. Oh, that's adorable. Are those Frillish, or the things that Frillish evolves into? I can't tell. Oh, God! All right, well, there he is. There he is, there's the gym. <sighs> You're gonna want me to fight you, aren't you? 
Alright, I guess I'll get that over with and then that'll probably be all for now. But let's... let's kick his shit. Let's kick his teeth in so he can't eat through anything other than a tube. Oh. Oh, okay, so I'm not actually going to fight you. Not now, anyway. Or indeed ever. No, I'm sure I'll fight you again before the end of the game, but I'm not doing another gym. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Tanks aren't botching. I... Rhymes aren't... Rhymes are hard, especially trying to make them make sense. Rhymes aren't easy. Anyway, bye.